haven't been wearing her and she is pretty. It's a fruity floor fragrance and it's my first fragrance from this entire brand. Don't go blind buying this. What's up my cherry bomb? On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my March perfume train. Now, honestly, you guys, when I look at the calendar and I seen the first, I was like, well, dang, February was short. We're just gonna go ahead and go with the flow because I feel like I just said Happy New Year and we're already in March. Like, can we just take two steps back, please? And calm down. Like, why are the days going so fast? Like, I don't understand. But anywho, y'all, I'm happy to see you guys. Welcome to a new month. I hope that this month is um, you know, more successful than last month. I hope that whatever you was asking from God, that he gives it to you this month. If you're new here, welcome. I pick seven fragrances for the month and then I just rotate rotate through them all. Ideally, I would love for me to wear one every single day and then switch it out the next week. But sometimes I just be falling in love with whichever one that I'm wearing at the time. So before we get into this new month, let me share with you guys some phrases that stood out for me in the month of February. The first fragrance is one from Memo Paris and it is Sintra. Now this is one that I pulled for whenever I just felt like putting on a fragrance and going and I just wanted to smell very pretty. This Neroli is orange blossom. It's marshmallow, sugar, vanilla, all of that good stuff. I would literally just pick it up and go and spray it on. Girl, I didn't think about it. It was just so nice for me to wear it. And as you guys can see, there is a slight dent. It's not too big. I know, I know. For the dent police, it's not a huge dent. But I definitely wore this a lot. This is one that I really enjoyed for the month of February. The next one was a vanilla and lavender combo. And y'all already know it. It is Goddess. If you didn't watch... February's perfume haul or perfume tray. Sorry, not perfume haul, perfume tray. I'll put it right here for you and in the description box below because February was a vibe and this fragrance was definitely a vibe. Y'all know when I put this on the tray, it was a full bottle and now there's a dent. So you know I was really enjoying this fragrance whenever I just wanted to smell good and smell like vanilla and lavender, this was the one that I pulled for. It was literally a signature scent too as well. Really like this, super long lasting, got compliments. Really enjoyed this fragrance for the month of February. And the last fragrance that I really enjoyed that kept on giving me compliments was one of those fragrances that I wore when I needed a fragrance to last long and I needed a fragrance that was gonna get me there, like get me all the compliments that I needed. And I just wanted to smell very unique from everybody else. This one was it and it is Hibiscus Mahajad from Maison Cravelli. You guys, this is a pretty rose with um, a juicy hibiscus. It is such a really nice rose. I love it so much. I remember the first time I smelled this, I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't understand it. It smells musky. No, baby, I, di I really didn't understand it. That's why I felt that way because the moment I wore it on skin, fell in love instantly. This is one that I really enjoyed for the month of February and I, um, I don't remember what I wore for Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day I, sometimes I'm with it, sometimes I'm not. Like this year I was just like, eh, whatever happens, happens. So I don't remember what I wore, but I definitely enjoyed this for the month though. So this is one that I really enjoyed for the month of January, I mean February. The one that I wore the most out of the three would have to go to Goddess. Goddess was just one of those fragrances that was so easy to pick up and go and just wear. I didn't have to think twice about it. And then second runner up was this one, of course. Now this one, I didn't have to really think about it too much, but I wore it with a purpose, okay? If you have a perfume tray, comment down below which one that you gravitated towards the most, even if you didn't mean to, but which one called your name the most? Which one did you pick up and spray the most? Comment down below. Now we have some new fragrances that are in the collection that's on this list. Honestly, everything here is new except for one item. So the one that's not new, we're just gonna go through that one first and I'm gonna let you guys know why it's on the list. And um, yeah, so the first fragrance is one from Thameen and it is Thameen's Royal Sapphire. Now the reason why this one made the list this month is because I really have not worn this. I've only worn it a few times. It's a good one, but I haven't worn it that much. It's categorized as a white citrusy floral and I really like that. It has notes of mandarin orange and bergamot at the top. In the mid, you get orange blossom and jasmine, which is definitely sexy and 
Orange Blossom, you find that in a lot of fragrances that are crowd-pleasing, La Vie Belle, Coco Mademoiselle. And then in the base, you have Amber, Oak, Moss Patchouli, and Woody Notes. It's a classic signature scent style of fragrance. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good it was. It's one of those fragrances that reminds me of the same scent profile that Libre's in. It's very sophisticated, it's very alluring. It's one of those that's gonna get you the compliments. And I wanted a niche fragrance in the collection for this month that was gonna be signature scent. Cause I usually have ones that are dedicated for date nights, special occasions, but I want one that I can just wear every single day and still smell very unique at that too. And Raw Sapphire is that for me. And I really cannot wait to wear this this month. It's a beautiful fragrance, super long lasting. It will get you the compliments. You don't have to worry about it lasting long at all. And that's what I really like about the mean fragrances. And they have their own specific DNA that will stand out. So it don't matter if um, you're used to jasmine, amber, orange blossom, you know, and mandarin. This is one of the most unique fragrances that I have in my collection that is also super simple. So I really can't wait to wear this one for the month of March. And I feel like March is that month for me. I feel like in March, everything is gonna come together for me for the rest of the year. I strongly believe that. And this fragrance is one that I want to, you know, have that same memory as well. I want the memories to be tied around this fragrance. If I'm about to sign a big deal, this is the one that I'm going to be wearing. If I'm going to, you know, some a brand launch or something, an event, I feel like this is suited for that. So can't wait to wear Royal Sapphire this month. Now this next one is one that is very playful and I wanted a fragrance that was playful for the month of March. I wanted something that was bright because I feel like Easter is in this month. Correct me if I'm wrong. I wanted something that was bright, pretty, and y'all know fall and winter is long gone now. Um, especially in Florida, we're getting the little bits of winter, but once you hit March, you know the sun is out, the um, trees are changing colors, the pollen is out, so allergy season is right around the corner. So I wanted something that was fruity, fun, playful, and that was not gonna be irritating me even if I get sick. Because whether we like it or not, pollen will be in the you know, in the sky, in the atmosphere. So I want a fragrance that's not gonna be irritating um, during those days. And I thought this would be perfect. And it's Daisy Wild by Marc Jacob. Now this one is really cute because it's a one ounce. They gave me a one ounce bottle, Sephora did. And I thought it was really cute. Um, got this in the Sephora box. But what is so different about this specific fragrance is the notes. It has the top notes of banana flower, middle notes of mac macadamia and jasmine, and the base you have vetiver and sandalwood. Super fresh, super pretty. I feel like it has the daisy DNA, but I honestly can say that I really did not get into this scent um, from the brand. Um, I just felt like they probably didn't last long. I'm just going to be honest. What I really wanted was decadence, but I never got my chance to get my hands on it. But this right here is so pretty. I feel like it's one of those fragrances that probably won't last long. I remember I did my test with the fragrance enhancer. I got six hours. That's with the fragrance enhancer. So without the fragrance enhancer, I'm sure easy four hours. But it's cute though, and I can't wait to just spray this on when I just wanna do a quick errand, run out real quick, and I don't wanna smell like just laundry. I wanna smell good. And that banana flower is something different in this. I like that touch. Sometimes I get like a mango vibe, but for the most part, it's a nice touch to this fragrance line. So definitely can't wait to wear this for the month of March. This next one is one that I'm really, really excited to wear. It's a fruity floor fragrance and it's my first fragrance from this entire brand and it is Mood Ring by Fleur. Now this one has the top notes of fruits, papaya and orange. It has the middle notes of jasmine sandback, orange blossom and marigold. And the base you have musk, amber and patchouli. Y'all, this is so pretty. It's like a Jolly Rancher it's beautiful. I love the papaya. I love the orange. And I actually like the jasmine. Um, I'm not getting too much patchouli, but I do get a nice musk. This is beautiful. I wore this when I was running errands um, maybe a week ago or when I did get it for the first time. 10 out of 10. Really like that. I got compliments when I was out. Um, I went to the grocery stores. I went to the fish market and I got compliments when I was wearing this. Can I call you back? I'm filming. I'm literally in the middle.
middle of a video. What the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Gwen. Hi. <laughs> Cuckoo, bruh. I can't. I can't. I'm going to call you back. <laughs> all right all right you guys so yeah this is so pretty i like it i got compliments when i wore this it's one of those fragrances that i feel like it's not groundbreaking but it's pretty so i feel like i wouldn't say that i don't have nothing in my collection that smells like this or reminds me of anything but it does smell different from a lot of the fragrances that I do have. They do share similarities, but it's not like, okay, this is the most groundbreaking fragrance out there, but it is pretty. And it's so, I don't know, every time I think about it, I feel like I am sniffing like a Jolly Rancher gummies or something like that in that nature. It's so fun, it's so pretty, perfect for March, and I can't wait to wear it. Comment down below if you guys tried this, it's new. And um, I actually like Fleur fragrances not gonna lie this is my first one and then i tried some others i'm like huh this brand is actually nice so i can't wait to really experience it some more for the month of march now, this next one is another one that i feel like that's kind of playful but still very different from anything that i have in my collection and i really wanted to experience it this month it's from maison margella and it is the newest release which is from the garden now, I did do a dedicated video of this fragrance. It was kind of like a first impressions type of thing. I'll link it for you guys so y'all can go ahead and watch how I felt compared to what I'm saying now. But I really like this. This is a tomato leaf fragrance. It has top notes of tomato leaf, um, green mandarin. In the mid, you have geranium. In the base, you have patchouli. It's a fresh spring type of fragrance. It is green, and I feel like that's the green tomato leaf, okay? I like it. I like it. I think it's so nice. It's so different from anything that I've tried in a long time. This is definitely screaming out spring and I am here for it. Okay. And y'all know spring is right around the corner. So I can't wait. And I think this is the perfect fragrance to start off a good month in March, obviously. Um, and I really, 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 really like it. It is so different from anything that I've smelled before. Oh, let me just remind myself of it. That tomato leaf is so sharp. It's almost spicy. Oh my gosh. And it's so different. Like, it's not something that I would have gravitated to by looking at the notes. I would have to spray it on skin. And it's not something that I would have sprayed on, to be completely honest with you guys. Because I'm like, okay, can I get something else? But I'm so happy that they sent it to me and I smelled it. And I was just like, wow, this is so different. So, if you haven't tried this already, go ahead and try it. I feel like it's not for everyone. Don't go blind buying this. Definitely sample it out first. If you have your nearest Dillard's or um, Sephora, definitely sample this one out first. I don't think it's a safe blind buy at all because, I mean, tomato leaf don't sound bad, but if you really don't like that green scent profile, then you really won't like this because it is green, it's fresh, and it is just like makes me happy honestly it's like one of those fragrances that will brighten up your day you know i really like this i was looking for a fragrance that i could wear on days where i just don't feel like wearing a fragrance or if i am heading to the gym and i just want to smell like somebody you know and i didn't want to wear something that was too overpowering it is um you by glossier it is a your skin but better it has notes of iris pink pepper ambroxan and ambrette ambrette comes off as marshmallow to me Ambroxan is like a molecule skin like woody fragrance. No iris is powdery and pink pepper is slightly spicy. Really enjoy this fragrance. Oh my gosh. I get so much compliments when I wear this fragrance. I don't understand what it is. It's like a skin amplifier. I like to use this to layer fragrances and to make them last longer as well. And I feel like I'll be wearing that for this. But this is such a clean, simple, fresh skin type of fragrance. And I really... I mean, I really, 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 really enjoy this. So if you are looking for that fresh, clean, like if you're not like, you know, a bold person with when it comes to fragrances, because you can be bold and just don't like strong fragrances. But if you are that type of person, you'll probably really like this one because it layers amazing um, and it wears amazing on its own as well. Super long lasting in my humble opinion. It is clean, it's fresh, and it's just like, imagine wearing a clean white shirt with some you know, wash jeans and some sneakers, clean white sneakers. Like you just smell fresh and clean and just so put together. 
but at the same time, not doing too much. Really like this, and I'm so happy to have it in the collection. And I don't know if y'all could see, but I'm literally halfway through the bottle. Now this next one is one that I really don't talk about, um, really haven't talked about, to be honest. This is one from Valentino, and I'm really excited to wear it because it got lost in the mix, honestly. Like when I was fixing my fragrances, it just stayed in that box that it came in and I never opened it again. I said thank you to the brand and I never opened it again. And I was just looking at my collection. I was like, I know I have a pink bottle. Where is it? Girl, it was in the box. And this is Valentino Donna Bonaroma Pink PP. And I haven't been wearing her and she is pretty. I remember smelling her and I really, really liked her. So she has the top notes of calabrine mandarin middle notes of orange blossom and the base notes of bourbon vanilla it smells exactly like the other one but i just feel like this one is just more um citrusy at the top and the bourbon vanilla with the orange blossom is perfect so i wanted a fragrance that i can use on a daily where i could just spray on and go when i want a little bit of you know a more vanilla this one was it can't wait to wear this it's so good it's Donna Born in Roma, come on. Their flankers are really, really good. I only have this one, the original one, and the Intense, but honestly, if it wasn't good, they wouldn't be making flankers, okay? So I can't wait to wear her. If you haven't tried her, definitely give her a sniff. Now, I am a little mad with Valentino. I really thought this was gonna be a all pink bottle. I didn't know that it was gonna be see-through right here. I thought that it was gonna be all matte pink. When I seen the bottle in person, I was just like, oh my gosh, this deception is real because even online, it's all pink. But I mean, it's whatever. It's still cute and I can't wait to wear her. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. And if you have it in your collection, let me know how you feel about this one. Do you think it's worth getting or do you think that you're good with Donna Born in Roma and Donna Intense? Let me know. I really like it though. And last but not least, this next fragrance is one that I had to re-up on. I had a 30 ml of it, but I never really had the full bottle. So the moment I was done with that 30 ml, honey, I said, yeah, I'm gonna get me the full bottle. I had a 30 ml decant from Crystal Fragrances and it is chocolate gritty, honey. I needed to get chocolate gritty in my collection. This is a beautiful gourmand. It has notes of cacao, vanilla, tonka bean, bitter orange, dried fruits, and coffee. I had to get this, honey. Chocolate gritty is so good. It's the perfect chocolate fragrance. It layers so well with everything. It's super long lasting. It's super beast mode. I love it. Um, Y'all know Montal does not miss when it comes to their fragrances and their longevities. So if you're looking for a chocolate fragrance, like, listen, this is it. I had to put this on my collection because, oh my God, the cacao, the tonka bean, the bitter orange just gives it that zesty. Love this one. Love, 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 love this one. And I think that it wouldn't be a perfume tray without a gourmand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'd be trying to stay away from the gourmands, but I feel like every tray has to have at least one gourmand fragrance. Like, I don't think I can go throughout the year without wearing gourmand at all. But um, maybe I should challenge myself. I don't know. It's probably not gonna work. But yeah, that was my perfume tray for the month of March. Comment down below if you're making a perfume tray. Comment down below if you, you know, have a specific fragrance that you're wearing this month i'm super curious comment down below if you would like to try out any of these fragrances do remember that everything will be linked in the description box below if there's any discount codes i got you don't worry about it sweetheart just check the description box below don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you found value in this video so that way youtube knows that you guys actually like me so they can push me out to other potential new cherry bombs as well and if it is your first time here welcome and thank you so much for joining the cherries tv i love you guys and for all my ogs thank you so much for all your support you guys know i truly love y'all from the bottom of my heart don't forget to like comment and subscribe once again until we see each other again please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances Bye, chair bombs. <laughs> Bye.